Hello folks and welcome to another episode. Just there is a cheap Chinese electric car, an MG ZS EV 2019, middle of. Uh, it's done 238,000 miles and I'm going to show you what's wrong with it and what's not wrong with it. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. The first question I always get asked about any electric car is how is the battery, uh, the traction battery? Um, and I did a, a test yesterday. Uh, his result, you can see it, 91% state of health over the 238,000 miles, which is absolutely exceptional uh, for a car of this mileage. If you pay £3,000 for a car, you know it's probably going to have a few issues. And this one has been a taxi uh, in London and it's been treated really well. I mean, you can see aesthetically from here, it looks pretty good. Um, no real issues with it. Uh, the paintwork's good. Um, it drives like an absolute gem, although it has got uh, one underlying issue, which I'll get to. Um, but aesthetically, it looks... It looks good, um, no dents. It's got like a few minor scratches, but all in all, it looks okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the issues it has got. So let's start at the front. We know these charge ports are not the finest design. And this one, that's the same. The good news is I can fix that because, well, anyone who's got a bit of technical know-how can put something in there make that work and I'll do the same however the good news is it sort of either sits up or it sits down and when you're driving you don't even really notice so that's not really an issue let's come round here I want to show you a few bits so open the driver's door just look inside you know what it's not bad it's not bad at all. There's a little bit of cracking on the driver's uh, seat uh, squab, but for 238,000 miles, that's okay. And this, this isn't the best material. This is fake leather. Let me just show you the mileage there. So 238,093 miles. So really good. Um, this has had no repairs. It's had nothing replaced on it, apart from tires, wiper blades. Needs a new pollen filter, I can tell you, because I took that out today and it's absolutely disgusting. Let's just come round to the rear door. Um, you can see this has been a taxi, as I mentioned. Um, you can see that door seal's gone there. This side's actually okay, but people don't really get in this side so much. They get in that side. And if I zoom in over there, you can see that's been patched up. The leather's gone there. Um, it's just one of them things. You can get a seat base for 30, 40 quid. There's plenty of these in scrapyards written off because there's been plenty that are taxes and taxes do get written off a lot. Okay, let's come around to the boots. Let's have a little look. So, pretty good condition. I am going to get a uh, rear privacy glass done. Uh, I think that's something this car really misses and it gets really hot during uh, summer days. Oh, I've just noticed something. That's broken. This bit here comes off, but that bit's missing. I actually have one of these spare in my garage because I bought one where mine had fallen off and then I found mine. So I've got that one spare. Um, I've had to remove this. Uh, this is the camera kit um, that goes inside the taxis. Uh, I'm, I've asked the original owner if he wants it back. Um, I don't think he wants it, but he said actually there's probably some value in it because it's a piece of equipment which is recognised by Transport for London um, and they have to have them. So if anyone's watching this and they want that, um, providing that the original owner doesn't want it back, it's yours, you can have it. You just have to pay for the postage. I'll chuck that back in there for now. Um, it's got that uh, uh, removable floor or the adjustable floor, which I like. Um, granny lead, never been used. Original compressor and all that. Let's put that down actually. There you go, you can lower that down. Make your boot a little, uh, slightly bigger space. So that's good. Got these little things on the side here for storage. 
which is good. Okay, let's come round to this rear door. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's a bit of damage. We know what's happened there, don't we? People slamming the door with a seatbelt um, in the shut line, and it's done that. I mean, it's done 238,000 miles. I'm probably going to leave that, to be honest, and just let it slide. However, I've got two new door seals for the back, which I've ordered. Um, I have also ordered this. Um, the only thing is, this goes very shiny as it wears. And I'm wondering if I get one that comes out of a car with a lot less miles, they're going to be slightly different. Like if I look over the front here, can you see the slight difference in the material colour? I don't know if you can. But this is much more shiny than that. And when they're new, they're, they're actually quite dull. So I wonder if I put a new base in, if there'd be a significant difference. Okay, all the windows work, everything works like it should. Let's come around this side. Um, I haven't really got anything to tell you about this seat. Um, this seat, for some reason, I'm guessing most of the passengers would sit in the rear. Uh, that's why this one hasn't got as much wear as that one or the rear one. But yeah, it seems okay. Um, the thing that I love about this, and you've got to bear in mind, this was a 24 grand car when it was brand new, is, look at that roof. I love it. And it still works. The sun visor. This flaps down. It should be like this. One, two, but it's not. Uh, and you can see that the driver's popped a, um, a bit of something in there just to wedge it. So I've ordered one of those. Also, if I can replicate it, um, if you do this on the indicator stalk, it sometimes flicks between, there you go. Can you see it? There you go. And all I'm doing is this. Let's just zoom in a bit. That is kaput. And it's uh, cycling between uh, the automatic lights being on and the automatic lights being off. And when you indicate, there you go. You can see there on the screen, it just, oh, it's quite difficult to do. If I indicate, uh, I didn't do it that time. Oh, there you go. So you'll be driving along at night, the auto lights are on, the lights are on, you flip the indicator, the lights go off. That is just not what you want. So I've ordered one of those as well. Um, nice, easy job to change. This seat belt just starting to fray there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, just starting to fray on the material. Um, I can sort that, that's no biggie. Um, but, and here's the big issue that I've got, which I need to run around and open the bonnet for. So just watch this, if I can find somewhere to grab. Oh. Let's grab the back of it, ready? So I started, I'm just gonna try and wedge my phone so you can see this. You might be able to hear it. So as you go on and off the throttle onto the regen, the stack reduction gearbox is all moving and banging. Um, and that's because down there is a rear gearbox mount. Um, and that has got a lot of play in it. Um, so I've ordered a new one of those, nothing major, nothing that's gonna fall off, but because this car goes on and off the regen a lot, um, you can feel it and it, it's sort of like somebody going through the subframe. Oh, it's raining. Let's just close that roof. Oh, look at that, fully working, beautiful. Can still vent it though just push you up close the blind oh look at this this is a cheap chinese electric car and it is i'm i'm pretty gobsmacked by it i really am but another negative and a big one is this you ready Oh my days. 
Every time you open a door, it bongs. It bongs when you drive, it bongs. Anyway, there was a subsequent software update. Um, I'm not sure how the guy managed with this because that would have driven me absolutely batshit crazy. Um, but he just said, I got used to it. So he just carried on. He was happy. Um, I suppose that is all that matters. Uh, but I will get the software done uh, to get the comfort update um, and any other subsequent software updates. Have a listen to this door when I lock the car. It's okay when you open it, but when you close it. So that's the um, uh, lock actuator in the door. Potentially I could take that apart and maybe repair it but actually they're so cheap i'm just going to get a new one chuck it in or a second hand one chuck it in that's also ordered so let's just go through that charge port indicator stalk door seals seat bases one of them i'm not going to do probably sun visor gearbox mount software and i think that was it all of these are items which do not render the car unusable um, the most important in my view there is a gearbox mount because i can hear that going dunk, dunk, dunk when i'm driving but three thousand quid just there folks that is an absolute bargain and that is why you should buy a chinese electric car not necessarily an mg i say that but chinese engineering is absolutely the best as a car and as a car that's reliable the money you will save in fuel alone over this mileage will buy the car for you okay folks that's it i'm gonna leave it there um i hope you've enjoyed this short episode and we'll see you again soon with an update on this so bye for now